Hello, today I just wanted to go over the basic life cycle of bryophytes. This would be things like moss. And remember, moss do not grow very tall. They lack the vascular tissue and the lignin material, so you're never going to see them very, very tall. All right, so usually when we see moss, we will see it look like this. Obviously, it would be in a big, uh, large carpet type material. And they're not very tall. And we have actually male and female type plants. <clears throat> and these guys, they like to live in wet environments. And the reason why they have to live in wet environments is because of the sperm that the male produce. They will actually swim over to a female. And that is a very important part of why they have to be in water is because of their reproduction. If they can't reproduce, they're not going to survive very long. And of course, when the sperm, this is all in the gametophyte stage, and uh, as the sperm swim over to the female egg, which is at the very top of the female moss, it will fertilize the egg. And that first cell, as we know, will be called a zygote. It'll go through mitosis, and then out of the very top of the female will grow this thing called a capsule. This is in the sporophyte stage. So it has a complete number of chromosomes during this stage. And the capsule up here at the top of the females will be producing a bunch of spores. And at some point they will burst open. The wind will carry those spores. They will land um, all over the forest. But if they land in a nice wet environment, they will grow up and become male and female gametophytes once again. And the life cycle will just keep repeating. <clears throat>